People are making thousands of dollars by selling in-game items in Elden Ring on websites like eBay. This has been going on for some time since the Dark Souls days, but I never really investigated this until today. And what I found out will shock you. I mean, not really, they're just making a bunch of money. But today I look behind the curtain and try and speak to one of these sellers of these services. But what is the service? If you are unfamiliar with Elden Ring or Dark Souls, as you go through the game and kill enemies, you're rewarded with souls or runes in the case of Elden Ring, and these souls can level up your character and make them stronger. There's also an item that holds a bunch of these souls or runes, and when used, you'll get a big chunk of souls added to your character, thus allowing you to level up your character quickly. These services that these people offer is you give them money, they drop you a bunch of these soul clusters so you can level up your character. Not only that, but they also offer weapons and armor pieces. They list these weapons for a few bucks and then they'll just drop whatever item the buyer wants. But how does obtaining these items actually work? Has the seller been grinding the game for hours to get multiple different copies of the same item? On consoles? No. On PCs? Definitely not. Elder Ring auto saves a lot. Kill an enemy, save. Equip a weapon, save. Consume an item, save. You get the picture. So what console sellers do is they'll have a character with a bunch of items on it. They'll save a backup of their character data to an external storage device. Then they'll have someone on another account in their world and they'll drop the items on that character. Then they'll quit the game, re-upload the character data that they had previously backed up. Now when they start the game, they'll have everything they have just given to the second account back on their main account. And this process repeats until the second account is full. On PC, that method is available as well, but with the use of Cheat Engine, sellers can simply give themselves any item in the game and any amount of said item, thus eliminating the need for a second account. Is this allowed? No, it's not. In Article 10 of the Elden Ring Terms of Service that everyone agrees to when launching Elden Ring for the first time, it states the following in Section 1. No player shall be entitled to, assign to, transfer to, sell to, or buy from another, change the name to another's name of, or provide another as pledge or other security with. Any of his slash hers rights held as a player and items, characters, and save data within the game related to the software which are obtained in these services, including so-called real money trading. So here it tells you if there's any money exchanged for services, including the selling of items, they have a right to enact Article 10, Section 3, which basically states they will suspend you from using their online services if you are caught doing this. So why have something in the terms of service that they can't even police? Well, the reality is, this is merely for saving face. From Software have a right to ban you from their online services if you are caught breaking these rules. And you can't then take From Software to court for denying their service to you. Because if you were found out you have broken these rules and then you took them to court, From Software would simply say, hey, it was in our terms of service, we told them not to. But how do they even go about finding those who have broken these rules? And can you get into any legal trouble? For one, unless they have a dedicated team looking at these listings, they just simply can't police it. And it's not like these sellers are hiding it. This seller has their full address, their name, and their gamer tag listed on that actual sale. And the most damning thing From Software could do would be ban the guy. Even though agreeing to the terms of service legally binds you to that contract, breaking that contract is not considered breaking the law. It's merely classed as an offence, but not a criminal offence, which are different things. Which contradicts the warning message that pops up if you tamper with game files in Elden Ring. It states that game tampering is illegal. Not only that, but this also falls into acquiring runes illegally. Now, illegally is a big scary word as you associate illegally with the law, and breaking said law will constitute legal punishment, i.e. prison, or at least a court sentence. Also, side note, could you imagine actually going to jail because you bought weapons in Elden Ring? Like, what are you info, man? Oh, I bought ribs of blood nine times. Oh, God.
But even this game tampering warning message isn't what people think it is. It's just that, a warning message. You're not banned, you're in quarantine, which means you can still play online, but you'll be in a pool of people who are also receiving this warning message. Almost like the cheetah pool in Dark Souls 3. So the wording is strange as it states that game tampering and acquiring runes is illegal, which it isn't. It's not against the law. Illegally, by definition, is doing something in a way that is contrary to or forbidden by law. Now, I'm no law student, nor do I have any experience with studying of law, but from what I could research, just because you sign a terms of service contract and you break it, it doesn't mean you're breaking the law, unless it states so clearly in the terms of service. Think of things like copyright law. So these people selling these items are kind of in the clear, but what are these people like? It's time to go undercover. I made a new eBay account. Say hello to Edward Van Ring. I sought out 15 sellers and sent them all the same message. Hello gamer. I am writing to ask how much it would cost for you to drop every single item in the game for me. I'm a wealthy person who spends their time working and I can't be bothered to go out and find all these items as I simply do not have the time. I look forward to hearing back from you. P.S. I'm on PlayStation 5. Regards, Edward. Now you know this is a fake message because who can get a PS5? I sat eagerly awaiting a response. 10 minutes went by, 30 minutes, an hour, and behold, the responses started flooding in. Out of the 15 sellers message, four got back to me within the hour. They all had a 100% customer satisfaction rating. All eccentric business people, millionaires in the making. But they all failed to answer the one thing I asked. How much for every item in the game? They all seemed friendly, so I asked the question again, followed by, will this get me banned? In short, we know it will get me banned if the process was policed, but what was their response? I spoke to Zully the Witch on Twitter and they told me that we actually don't know what will constitute a ban yet, as we haven't had a ban wave. So when that happens, we'll have enough data to determine what actions actually cause bans. So trading items on consoles, as we mentioned previously, you're using existing data in the game and simply duplicating them via save restores, but actually generating items via cheat engine on PC, we still don't know if that'll cause the system to think you're tampering with game files. While I awaited the response from the sellers, I took a deep dive into the more popular ones. This person, for example, has made over $3,000 from selling items in Souls games alone. But it doesn't stop there. On eBay, you can see successful sales linked to an account, and it goes on and on and on. Thousands of dollars are being made from these people selling items. But do you care? Do I care? It doesn't affect me in the slightest. When I get killed by someone during PvP, I don't think, ah, I bet they bought that weapon. No, that doesn't even cross my mind. Is this a bad thing? Yes, this is a service I don't necessarily agree with, and these sellers are providing a service, but why don't I agree with it? Is it the amount of money that they make? I think partially, yes, it's down to jealousy. But as I sit there and I try to justify my position on why I think these services are a bad thing, I feel sorry for the people who buy into this. These items are not hard to get. Souls and runes, they're not difficult to acquire. So these people, do they not know how to get these items? Have they not looked them up? It's one thing contacting a seller, but I would have much preferred to have been able to contact a buyer and pick their brain as to why they bought it in the first place. But a response came in. No risk of a ban, friend. 30 euros for all the items this guy has. Now I know most of my audience are American, so that's $33.14 for every single item in the game, risk-free on consoles. But what do you do when you have these items? You've spent the amount of money you would have spent on the actual video game, and now you have everything the game has to offer. What's next? Now we can finally play the game.
Let me know your opinion down below. Do these types of services bother you or do you simply not care like I assume most people will, including myself? If you enjoyed today's topic, please remember to leave a like. 70% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for weekly videos. I've been Paragon, take care, be good to one another, and I'll see you next time.